We're coming to you from the Global Washington Annual Conference, Smarter Approaches to a Changing World, here at the Bell Harbor Conference Center in Seattle, Washington. Joe Winnie from Theo's Chocolates, you are working in some of the most interesting places in the world. One of them is the Democratic Republic of Congo. Tell us about that. We're sourcing half of our cocoa right now from Eastern DRC, and as you might know, Eastern Congo is the site of the worst humanitarian tragedy since World War II. More than five million people killed because of war and disease. But what we found there is that the, the farmers, the cocoa farmers we're working with are incredibly resilient, and we've been able to implement a quality program tied to price that has really been changing their lives. Do you not need a governmental infrastructure, though, to be able to make things happen? You know, it's, it would be nice to have a governmental infrastructure, for sure. One of the biggest challenges that uh, our producers are facing today is security. I learned this morning that more than 100 community members uh, were just killed by uh, different rebel groups coming out of the bush in the Beni region where most of our cocoa is coming from. Security is a huge issue that the government should be attending to, but it doesn't have the resources. At the same time, people still need to get by. They still need to move forward in their lives. And if there's a market that is ready for their crops and they can make good money selling it, then they'll find a way, and so far they have. What's the violence all about in the Congo? Is it all about minerals, about these things right here? It's, you know, the, the, I, it's a very complicated story. Minerals are definitely a huge driver for uh, some of the violence. Other parts of it has to do with the fact that the rebels are just trying to hold on to what territory they have. And so they're, they're, they're getting money, food, um, women from these communities so that they can continue their lifestyle in the forest. It's hard to understand exactly what all of their motivation is. It's not a straight line in most cases. Well, but you also work a lot in Latin America. We do, yes. But it has its challenges too. It does, but I have to say that over the last 25 years since my first, since I first started working with Coco, I've seen tremendous gains. I'll give you an example. Peru, I was uh, down in Peru a couple months ago, and I remember the first time I was there being picked up in the airport in a, my, in a bulletproof car because the shining path was really controlling so much of the territory. Today, it feels like a free, open society. Economically, it's incredibly strong, and the farmer communities that we're working with there, even though there are challenges, have progressed dramatically. I, I really see a lot of success in Latin America in these days. One more question, because we know you got to go uh, head up a panel. Yeah. Uh, Global Washington, in this particular conference where we are today, um, how does it serve your needs? Oh, well, Global Washington is an amazing network for us to reach out into the NGO community, other like-minded businesses, and some government agencies to gain the resources that we need to implement our supply chain strategies in Latin America and Africa. So we found it to be a tremendous resource. We are fortunate to have Global Washington in our backyard. Joe Winnie, thank you very much. Hey, thank you so much. All right, great to see you. Rainmaker believes we can change.